Rock art is a archaeological feature that's found all over the world where humans have lived. So pretty much everywhere except for Antarctica. The site we're at today is a pictograph site, which means there's painted imagery. And this site has some kind of unique methods of application for the paint. So you can see kind of behind me, the way that these paintings were applied is the paint was blown or sprayed onto the wall. And so the individuals at this site placed their hands on the wall and then they would spray the paint perhaps through a hollow tube or maybe even just straight out of their mouth uh, to create these uh, negative handprints. So, so using their hands as actual stencils. So you can see a little bit here, there's some red pigment. This handprint is, is pretty uh, visible. You can see some of the fingers here. Fortunately for us, as technology develops, there have been many different photo enhancement programs that have come about that help rock art researchers kind of visualize the rock art a little bit better. As most things today, there's an app for it. So the most common program that researchers use is called D-Stretch. So what I'm gonna do is on my phone, I'm gonna take a picture. You can kind of see some red pigment behind the phone here. I'm gonna take a picture. And then all I have to do is just swipe through to bring out different color enhancements. So this one is particularly good for red pigments. Um, and I can swipe through and see if any of the other ones look better. And you can really see then the, the negative handprints really, really well. A lot of people, one of their main questions is, why do the Native Americans uh, put these images on rock walls? And the answer to that is complicated, and there's probably a lot of different reasons. What we do know is that these rock art images are part of stories. They're part of information that they're trying to pass down to future generations. This particular example for the handprints is something kind of special. It's essentially leaving your mark on a location on the landscape, almost as if a, I was here sort of thing. It might not be just that I was here here, but it could be uh, a way of connecting with the rock. A lot of times alcoves and rock shelters are seen as portals to the other world. And so if you are um, really kind of joining yourself in that really intimate way with the rock, it could be a way of, of accessing another world perhaps. So we're fortunate in Wyoming to have several really important rock art sites across the state. There are many that are open and available to the public, such as state parks like uh, Medicine Lodge and Legend Rock. And also there's BLM lands that have rock art sites available, such as the White Mountain Petroglyphs and Castle Gardens. And so we really encourage you guys to go see those sites, to appreciate the stories that were left behind, but also to remember to visit those sites with respect, as these are really special places. And one thing we always tell people is take nothing but photographs and leave nothing but footprints.